Bethany here with Craft with Bethany and I welcome you back into my craft room. Um, tonight I am doing a late night craft, um, hence the crazy hair and everything. That's okay. It's crafting. This is my space and I, I love my craft room. Um, so tonight I thought I would show you guys another sneak peek into my September mystery box available in my craft source. And if you have not grabbed your mystery box yet, you are cutting it close there's only a few left so there's a link in the description below go get it now uh, before you miss out on it but i want to show you what we're going to be making tonight we're going to be doing can koozies i love can koozies these are truly some of my best sellers on my etsy shop and at my vendor events and i love to personalize these so what i love is they have regular can koozies and also the tall skinny ones which is great and these are printed patterned ones but they also have solid colors too. I sell a lot of solid colored ones, but tonight we're gonna use these two that come in your mystery box. And for this one, for the tie dye, we're gonna use the white glitter HTV that came in your mystery box. And for the leopard one, we're gonna use a glitter red HTV, heat transfer vinyl, um, that also came in your mystery box. So you literally have everything you need. This is it. Okay, um, we are gonna cut our vinyl with the Cricut Maker tonight on using Cricut Design Space, but if you have a silhouette, um, that works as well. If you have a brother scan and cut, that works as well. Um, use whatever die cutting machine you have. Um, I'm using the Cricut Maker just because it's the one that I always have out and I typically use, but you can use the Explorer Air, Explorer 2, you could even use your Cricut Joy. Um, so just because I always use the Maker doesn't mean you have to. Um, anyway, so we're gonna jump into design space. We're gonna throw some quick designs onto these. This is a super fast project. Like I said, they make great gifts and they're some of my top sellers and they're so easy to make and they're pretty inexpensive. So. Uh, go check out my craft source for their other blank items um, that you can purchase and then be able to design and sell some really cool and unique gifts and, and items. Okay, so let's go over to Cricut Design Space right behind me over here and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, Cricut Design Space and I already have my designs here. Um, this is one that I've had for a long time and then I decided so this this dog mom one is going to be the one that's in the white glitter that I'm going to put on the. Uh, tie-dye koozie and then I decided I would just put my name on the leopard one. I love that leopard one. I'm keeping it for myself. I love my um, you know taller cans so I thought this would be a cute one for me um, since I don't have one. Okay so what I decided to do is I'm gonna since they're two different colors I just went ahead and left this one black because it's just easier to see but I know I'm cutting it out of the white glitter vinyl. This one's going to be cut out of the red glitter vinyl, so I need them on separate mats, so I went ahead and put this one red. That way they show up on different cutting mats. Um, pretty straightforward. Ignore all of this extra stuff I have over here. This, I don't know about you guys, but when I'm working on my projects, I will, like, these are, this one's called dog koozies. Like I mentioned, I sell them on my Etsy shop. So um, I have a lot of different designs that I use that I save all under one project, and I just pull them up when I need to cut a new one. Um, so that's why I like to save my projects by what the what they are. And then I'll keep all of the cut files that I like to use for that project under this one thing. So they're all over here <laughs> on this one side. Um, but tonight we're just gonna do this dog mom one. And then I added my name in here for this one. So let's click on make it. And it's telling me I don't have a font, but I really do. So we're just going to ignore that. Now, when you're using heat transfer vinyl, you want to make sure that you mirror your um, cut because of the way that it cuts and the way you press it on, it needs to be mirrored so that it is going the right direction when we actually press it on. So we're going to make sure this one's mirrored. Now, it doesn't automatically do it for both mats. So while you're doing the first one, just go ahead and do the second one because if you don't, you will forget and then you'll be kicking yourself about it later. Okay, so what we're going to do next is go down here to the bottom right corner and click on continue. It's going to connect my maker. It takes just a second. And then I want to click on glitter iron on. Now I have several ones that are, I have star that are my favorites that are my go-to. But if you don't have it up here, you just click browse all materials and it'll pull up a full list. And it's a very long list of materials you can cut on the Cricut Maker. So 
Um, what I would recommend doing is finding the ones you use the most and star them so they're always at the very top right here and you, you don't have to go through that list. Um, so I'm gonna click on glitter iron on and I'm using the default pressure. Now, earlier I did a test cut and I had, in the last video, I believe I had put in a brand new blade and I left it at default and it cut all the way through, not only my glitter iron on vinyl, my HTV, but also that clear protective sheet. And then I couldn't really use it. So um, I ended up doing less and it still cut through. These new blades are so strong. So just be aware of that. If you have a brand new blade, always do less pressure. And even then you may have to kind of dial it down a little bit. But I ended up just putting my old blade, I didn't throw it away, putting my old blade back in and just using default and it worked just fine. So um, sometimes those brand new blades can just be a little too much sometimes. Um, anyway, so we're gonna click on glitter on iron on vinyl, um, leave it at default, make sure you have your fine point blade in place and then we're just gonna click, um, actually we don't have to click anything. We just need to put the vinyl on the mat and get it started by hitting the load button. So now when it comes to putting your glitter HTV vinyl onto your mat, you want to use a standard grip mat and you want to put the glittery side, the front side face down. This has got a clear protective sheet on it. That's what we want to keep. Um, we do not want to cut through that. We just want to cut through this side. Um, and this is what we press it down onto our item with. So I'm just going to line this up. This is a really long piece, but that's okay. We're going to line this up. Now, if you do not have one of the brayer tools, I highly recommend it. It's not necessary. You can use that smooth um, felt side of the scraper that comes in your mystery box, but I absolutely love this tool. I use it for all of my, um, adhering all of my materials to my mats, whether it's fabric or vinyl, faux leather, um, cardstock. It just really make sure that there's no bubbles underneath and you just kind of run it back and forth, nice and smooth. Make sure it's really stuck on there. Now we're only gonna be cutting just this top portion right here for my name. I'm leaving the rest of this on here. There's no sense in cutting this off. If you wanted to measure what you need and just cut that out and stick it on there, you totally could. I just opted to leave it like this. So now we're gonna take this over to the maker and get it cut. Okay, I got it cut and I ended up cutting the dog mom logo out of the red as well. I'm gonna put that on one side and my name on the other for the leopard one. But how I, what I typically do is I take a rotary blade and I have my mat. You just wanna be careful not to push down too far. You don't wanna cut this mat. And I am just gonna cut out my design now that I'm done cutting it. All right, so I'm gonna start weeding and I like to take my tool and start in the corner and kind of go out and curl it back and that just is a great way to get it started. One thing I love about glitter heat transfer vinyl is just how easy it weeds. Now these glitters are a little different. This one's gonna be that rougher textured glitter. Um, when you press it on and peel this clear sheet off, you're gonna feel the glitter. Whereas this one's smooth. You're not gonna feel the glitter. You're just gonna have the look of glitter. So there's different textures to the glitters. So let me... Okay, so the last thing we're gonna do is apply our vinyl to our koozies. I am using the Cricut Mini Press, which I am a huge fan of. If you watch any of my videos, I use it a lot. It always sits out on my counter and I'm using a Cricut pressing mat. This is a padded mat. If you don't have one of these, you definitely need to put something down or use an ironing board or something to protect. You can get an ironing pad, um, lots of towels, something that's firm enough that you can press on it's not going to sink down into gives you some firm pressing ability but it's not going to damage your countertop i have got my cricut mini press set to the level two because we're doing um, glitter htv so we want to make sure it gets on there really well and i'm just waiting for that to heat up um, i'm going to be pressing it onto um, this white and glitter one onto this koozie right here and that means it is ready to go. Um, I like to just do a quick pass. Okay. 
nice and warm surface. I am a big fan of just kind of eyeballing it. And then you're just going to press this on. Watch your fingers. It just takes a few seconds. You want to kind of keep it moving. You don't want to leave it sitting in one spot for too long, especially on this kind of neoprene fabric material that the koozies are made out of. You will start to see the plastic naturally lift from the glitter, and that's when we're ready. And we're just going to do a gentle lift while it's still warm, and there you go. You can throw this piece away. And we have our first koozie done. How cute did that turn out? Hey guys, so what do you think of our cute little koozies we made? I like them. I have some feedback on the glitter vinyl because this was my first time using this red glitter vinyl that came in your mystery box. Um, I got it because I loved that it was smooth, but I did find that it did take longer to adhere to the uh, koozie and it peels better with cool. So let it cool completely and then peel it. Whereas the regular HTV glitter um, Caesar brand, um, it peels right away when it's hot. You'll see the plastic kind of like lift up off on the edges and you're like, okay, it's ready to come up. This one took a little longer, which is fine. Just be aware that they do peel a little differently. And you're gonna find that from time to time with using different types of vinyls and HTV glitter versus solids, different types of glitters. Like it's just something you kind of have to kind of play with. And I'm still learning and figuring those things out because it does vary between what you're using and the material you're putting on and all those kind of things. All right, so I hope that little tip is helpful for you when you go to make your koozies out of the MyCraft Source September mystery box, um, which is the Craft with Bethany mystery box. So these are all things that I handpicked myself for us to be able to craft together and craft along all month long. If you have not gotten your craft box, please go use the link in the description below to get yours. There's only a few left. I don't want you to miss out on that. And be sure to check out my craft source online and on Instagram. And you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook as well and TikTok. <laughs> so be sure to tune in for those and be sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that little bell so the next time a tutorial comes out, you do not miss it. Until next time, guys, I will see you later. Bye.